uh, for solving systems of equations by graphing, you have uh, two, two equations. So the first one we have here, it's y equals x plus 3. And the second one is y equals negative x plus 7. What we, what we want to achieve by doing this is to find the point where the two equations meet or if they don't meet at all, or if they are always meeting. So what we're gonna try to do is cancel one of or one of, of the two variables. It could be y or x. In this case, we, we already have the x and the negative x, so it will be easier to, to cancel. So we have it here, the y equals x plus three, and y equals negative x plus 7. So here we can settle it out. We're subtracting and adding. We're not multiplying at all. And what we have is, well, y plus y is 2y. You copy this the same, the same order. And then this is a 10. And then for... Solve for y. Ah, uh, so solving for y, you're going to put the y alone. And 10 divided by 2, this gives you 5. So now you have the value for 5, and you're going to look for the value of x. So what we're going to do is substitute of x. So what we're going to do is substitute. So we have, we can, you can use either of the two. It should give the same answer. So you have y equals 5, so you put 5 equals x plus 3. And this gives you, you put the y alone, so it's, it's sorry, the x alone. So you have 5 minus 3, this gives you x equals 2. So this, will be the, this should be the meeting point. It's going to be like, uh -huh. you have like 2 and 5. And if you want to check it, you can do it with the other one. So you have the y, that is 5, equals negative x plus 7. So you have the negative x, 5, negative 7. Uh -huh. And this gives you negative 2 and negative x. You can never leave the variable, the, like the x value, in negative. So you're going to switch places and you change the, the signs. So it's x equals 2. Now we're going to explain how to do solving systems of equation with linear and quadratic formulas. And this is the first problem where we have to first start with the formula negative, negative b divided by 2a. Yeah. After getting the result of negative b plus, uh, no, divided by 2a, you do a table of values, and by a table of values, you will get uh, the parabola, and here, here it is. Then after that, you have this value that is y10, so you put it here, but you but you also have this, and you can replace 10 with y here, and then by doing this, you get three, that is one of the values, and then you just plot it out as a straight line. So another good example of solving systems of equations by graphing is simply by putting the slope and the y-intercept of each problem. Example, we have y equals x plus 3. So we're just going to plot the point, which is 0, 3, and then the slope is 1, so we can just go down 1, left 1, or up 1, right 1. It would be the same thing as we would end up with, still with a diagonal line. Now we do the same thing here with y equals negative x minus 2. We would plot the point, which is 0, negative 2, and then we would go either down one, right one, or up one, left one. Either way, we would still end up with the same intersecting point right here, which is approximately negative 2.5 comma 0 0.5.